<laughs> I'm back at it again, and today we will continue our Imgui journey. We had more suggestions, and I will tackle one of them today, and also show you how to create a hotkey to either show or hide your GUI. I have worked on a side project for the game Left 4 Dead 2 that includes an aimbot, ESP, auto bunny hop, and more cool stuff. The source code will be released in the Buy Me A Coffee page, but I can also create a tutorial if you guys want to. Just make sure to tell me that in the comments if it's something that you're interested in. And whilst you're at it, drop a like, join the Discord, subscribe. The Sweat community loves new members. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little showcase of what you will have at the end of this tutorial. So we will continue on our GUI application from the first and second video. I think you can do this after the first video, it should be pretty easy. But if you want full context, then watch the two videos before this. They will be linked and I will add uh, one of those things that you can click on to watch it. And I will add it to a playlist. But let's start this one. And you can see that we have our GUI window like it was before. But now we have this exit button, which will exit the application. But, or and, <laughs> we can also hit a hotkey. I've chosen the spacebar as the hotkey. You can hear me click it or tap it. And it either shows or hides the window. So, that's what we're doing in this tutorial. Let's click the exit button. And we're back so it closes down the application and we have a hotkey to sh show or hide the GUI that's it okay we're back and today we will take a look at you guessed it some hotkeys and an exit button so if we run the application now you can see that we have we have all of the things that we had before but we will want to add an exit button so we close the window down and a hotkey to hide it whenever we want so let's first add this exit button so we will go under our code that we have previously written and go under my first window here we will write if imgui dot button parentheses and then we set an uh, a label exit if this exit is clicked we will exit the environment so it will close the application down it will not hide it it will close the application down so if we run it now and take a look, you will see an exit button here, like that. Now, if we wanted to change this location of the button, we could use something like imgui dot set cursor position, and we can. Yeah, let's use the position and we create a new vector two and we use the ingui dot get window width and we do minus let's say 75 and we set the y axis to for example 20 and another parenthesis and we close it. Uh, what's the problem now? Set cursor position. We need. What's the big idea? It shouldn't be a parenthesis there. So, like that, 
we run it and the exit is now here we click it it exits the application beautiful so it's not really in the title area but it is an exit button nonetheless so the hotkey for the hotkey we will use get async key state like we always do so we will create a dll import by user 32.dll in this dll import we will grab the static extern short get async key state this get async key state will take an integer a virtual key as an int so under our variables we will write our new my bad uh, i hit the mic but we will create a new variable which we will call show window we will set this to true so we don't or so we show the window in the start and then let the user hit the hotkey so now the that we have the get async key state and our variable we can create an if statement to check if somebody is holding this key so this int v key you can get it from let me get the web page real, real quick windows enums if you remember, we use this uh, in our forms application normally. So it's important there, but it isn't important in this uh, console application, which means we would have to, let me just, like that, I think I can hear some thunder. So I think this is the decimal numbers so let's uh, find the win32 there we go virtual key code that's my bad but here you can find your button that you want to use now i want to use the space button so that's backspace for the space bar button which is 20 in hex you can see this zero on x in the beginning it means it's hexadecimal so when i press the spacebar button we will set the hotkey my bad the show window to the opposite of the show window value which means it if it's true it will be set to false if it's false it will be set to true now we will also want to sleep a bit and I don't recommend doing this, uh, doing get async key states and so on in your render method. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will do it here just to show the, uh, how it works. You want to have this in a different method that you run your application logic and not the render. Uh, stuff but it works so now that we have a hotkey to change it we will also want to only render our stuff if we are showing the window so here we create another if statement and check if we are showing the window if we're showing the window we will render all of the things so let's test it i hope i haven't done anything wrong and here we have the form and if we hit spacebar now it should disappear would you look at that hit spacebar again and it reappears perfect and and at the end we can press our exit button to exit amazing so 
that was a short video but uh, if you have more suggestions I have been working on a multi-sheet for Left 4 Dead 2 with ESP and so on with a lot of stuff aimbot and so on if you want to see that let me know but that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.